Stockton when three men in a car took her backpack, phone, and wallet at gunpoint. She was taken to the hospital for a head injury. Hope it's, you know, an issue that we can get her under control here. Police say no one was arrested in any of these cases. Reporting in Lincoln Park, Shardé Gray, CBS 2 News. All that and no one arrested. Even if they were arrested, they would have let them out. So. Yeah, yeah, it's true. But let's be honest, Doc. It's only property, right? It's only yeah. property. <laughs> and I mean, yeah, and, and this glider, this glider is not wrong. Like, Lincoln Park is safe. I mean, it's not Longdale. But it does seem that people from Longdale are making themselves home in Lincoln Park. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Salute to Lionel, sure, man. The stand. Yeah, make sure you take the $5 challenge, man. Jump out the window. Some of you people, man, take the $5 challenge. Support the channel. Take the $20 challenge. Take the $10 challenge. We out here are bringing you not entertained? On, yeah, are you not entertained? Are you not enjoying the show? Are you not... You have nothing to say, and what is it? Or whatever, man. But um, we're gonna get to the main event, man. Um, or beats fired from a toy gun and ended with a beating and a teen killed. Now his family is questioning the or beats fired from a toy gun and ended with a beating and a teen killed. Now his family is questioning the pursuit for justice. Three people were originally charged with murder and felonious assault in Ethan Liming's death, but that all changed when the grand jury got the case. Tonight News 5's Tracy Carlos speaks is exclusively with Ethan's father about what he says are injustices his family is now facing. I just don't feel like I can remain silent any longer. Bill Liming's son, Ethan, was a star athlete, an A student, a rising senior. Summer vacation had just started when Ethan Liming was brutally beaten and killed. Now, months later, his dad feels like he is being victimized by the justice system. I naively believe that, you know, once the people that murdered my son were caught, that the justice system would just simply handle things. Um, we've said all along that we were confident when, when the facts of the case were presented, that Ethan would receive justice. But the grieving father feels that hasn't happened. The people who have the power to stand up for my son are not doing it. And so it's up to me. Um, as a father, to speak for my son who cannot speak for himself. 17-year-old Ethan Liming and three friends drove to the I Promise school parking lot in Akron. Liming told me his son and another friend sat in the car while the two others got out. Police say that's when a water bead was fired from a toy gun. It came from a splatter ball water bead blaster aimed at a group of young men playing basketball. It was part of a TikTok challenge. Liming says Ethan's friends ran back to the car. The group of men initially ran away, too. When they figured out that the car, they were not being shot by a real gun, decided to go and confront um, Ethan and uh, every, all of his friends who were in that car. According to court transcripts, Ethan stepped out of the car. He was confronted by the three, and that's when he fired a splatterball water bead. That led to the fight. What do you think about this so far? I mean, I, I didn't know that I could gun somebody down if they uh, shoot a BB gun in. Good to know. Well, I was gunned down, though. This is, this is the, he got beat to death. He got beat. Oh, they beat. Oh, shit. It's a water pellet well, gun. Well, it's good to know that if somebody, I could kill them if they, you know, shoot me with a water pellet gun. Well, well, why is this white kid running up? Why is he over here at, at this place? Shooting some men with fucking like shit sweet, man. Like shit ain't <laughs> sweet like that, right? Is it sweet like that? You can read it. Yeah. Why is he but doing I, this? But you and I both know uh, that outside of this bubble here, that's not the narrative that we hear. He thought he probably thought it was all good. Yeah, man. You know gliders like going up to wild animals and shit. This is what they that's do. true too. But he was with three, yeah. he was with some other sun men. <laughs> and I don't think y'all y'all listen to follow on the story, man. I think this glider was out of line, man. The people that murdered that. my son were caught that the justice system would just simply handle things. Um, we've said all along that we were confident when, when the facts of the case were presented 
that Ethan would receive justice. But the grieving father feels that hasn't happened. The people who have the power to stand up for my son are not doing it. And so it's up to me um, as a father to speak for my son who cannot speak for himself. 17-year-old Ethan Liming and three friends drove to the I Promise school parking lot in Akron. Liming told me his son and another friend sat in the car while the two others got out. Police say that's when a water bead was fired from a toy gun. It came from a splatter ball water bead blaster aimed at a group of young men playing basketball. It was part of a TikTok challenge. Liming says Ethan's friends ran back to the car. The group of men initially ran away too. When they figured out that the car, they were not being shot by a real gun, decided to go and confront um, Ethan and uh, every, all of his friends who were in that car. According to court transcripts, Ethan stepped out of the car. He was confronted by the three, and that's when he fired a splatterball water bead. That led to the fight that killed him. Liming says his son was punched, kicked, stepped on, and beaten. One of Ethan's friends called 911. We're at uh, the I Promise School in Akron, Ohio. Okay. Our friend just got knocked out. According to court transcripts, one of the three, Donovan Jones, was kicking the car, trying to get in. And when he does, starts punching the other friends, trying to drag them from the car, while one is on the phone with 911. How old is he? Prosecutors say video surveillance captures them running from Jones. Police originally charged Deshaun Stafford, his brother Tyler, and their cousin, Donovan Jones with murder. But in July, a grand jury indicted them on lesser charges. Liming blames the Summit County Prosecutor's Office for that decision. He doesn't believe all of the facts were presented. Akron police said back in June, race was not a factor in the killing. There is nothing that we have in our possession right now, any information at all, indicating that race played a role in this homicide. Nothing. But Liming isn't so sure. I would like to believe that race doesn't play a role in this. Um, I'm married to a, a, a Filipino woman. Um, she's got black cousins. Um, when we get together for our extended family gathering. What the fuck would that have to do with whether this was racing? You're married. Like, what would, what would him being married to a Filipino woman and her having black cousins have to do with your son? rolling up on a basketball court with his friends and shooting sun men with Orbeez. Hey, uh, so when they're saying he stepped out the car, because I see this story is older. I think I've seen this before. Um, when he stepped out the car, I don't believe, I, I got to check it again, but I don't think he fired the shot at them right when he stepped out. If I'm right, he fired it at the ground to show them like it's just a water pellet look. Yeah, but it's already up though. Like well, your friends already shot yeah. the, the two. The friends already shot. When those guys come over, it's up. Yeah, like I'm it's not already up. Fucking dumb. Like the kid's dumb. But why did he step out of the car? Why did he step on the gas? <laughs> Stop. Yeah. Go home. Yo, Aki, you think the some men, his friends, are like, yo, man, stay in the car, stay in the car. And he was like, oh, I could reason with him. Yeah, he must have been on his glide, had a glider moment. I got this, guys. I'll do this situation. It's oh, like, shit. oh man, what the fuck is wrong with these people, man? Salute to um, salute to Dominic, man. Dominic coming through. Gatherings for birthdays, for graduation parties, for holidays, and we're a beautiful picture of what we hope to be as a society. So when I asked Brian Laprinzi in the initial prosecutors meeting that I had with him. I asked him if race made a difference, if, if my son's skin, skin color made a difference in the way in which they're approaching it. He said yes. The Summit County Prosecutor's Office told us in a statement in part, quote, Mr. Liming's accusations are not true. We met with the Liming family and their attorney and explained the facts and evidence which we were legally permitted to tell them about. At no time did the race of any of those involved play a factor in the charges. Last month, Jones entered a no-contest plea to misdemeanor assault charges. He was given a suspended sentence of 180 days in jail and credited with time served. Liming is up. So one of the seven got 180 days in jail and credited with time served. <laughs> did you see those sun men? I wouldn't have shot them. And I'm a sun man. Shit. Yeah, I wouldn't do that to no son, man. I wouldn't shoot anybody with an Orbeez. I wouldn't do, I just wouldn't do that. 
or in the charges. Last month, Jones entered a no contest plea to misdemeanor assault charges. He was given a suspended sentence of 180 days in jail and credited with time served. Liming is upset, angry, and frustrated. A source who was at the initial prosecutor's meeting between the detectives and the prosecutors described that prosecutor's meeting as being very contentious. Um, some of the prosecutors wanting felonious assault charges and murder charges, others basically wanting no charges at all, with one of the prosecutors um, saying that Ethan received hood justice, which was a new term to me. I was unfamiliar with that terminology, hood justice. Hood justice is your white son and his three friends, I'm assuming that they're sons, roll up on a basketball court, shoot Orbeez at some black kids, the black kids run off. Your kids and his friends stay there on the scene in the car and just chilling. And then the seven men come back and approach the car. Your son gets out of the car and gets the shit kicked out of him. That sounds like hood justice to me, man. I'm sorry, man. I just... I, I listen, man. I gotta call it like it is, man. Yeah, it was just this unfortunate. One, this white kid's, yeah, I mean, no, it's not unfortunate. He, I mean, that he does. If he would have shot, I know some guys that if he would have shot them, I, like they would have probably had a heart attack because they'd been like, yo, they'd have been so shocked. You know what I'm saying? But once they came to, they would have killed this kid. I mean, beat this. Listen, man, if I was with some guys and this fucking kid rolled up on us and he fucking was, look, just look at these three guys. Look at, look, look at these three guys. Like, come on, man. <laughs> these are cobalt miners, man. The fuck? What, were you, what was he thinking? Yeah, they don't look like they play around. Hell no. They don't look like they they don't look like they're avoiding conflict. They don't no. look like you can shoot them with fucking no fucking you can shoot anything at them. I, I just I, I think that white kid was fucking out of line. He's fucking retarded. Now he's dead a no contest plea to misdemeanor assault charges. He was given a suspended sentence of 180 days in jail and credited with time served. Liming is upset, angry, and frustrated. A source who was at the initial prosecutor's meeting between the detectives and the prosecutors described that prosecutor's meeting as being very contentious. Um, oh, some somebody's saying that I'm, I'm, I'm wrong. They should have just punched him a few times. How do you know they didn't just punch him a few times? Yeah. Listen, man, I, I I don't want to brag or nothing, but if you're if it's me and a couple other dudes, and you're not like in front of me, like bracing for my punches, if I catch you and you're not expecting it because your other guys are hitting you as well, I might kill you. If I just, you know, tee off, that shit might kill you along with the other punches. Who said that they were trying to kill this kid? They were kicking his ass. His head probably they hit the They were trying ground. to kick his ass. Yeah, and he died during the ass kicking. It's not a linear. I don't think this was a linear thing where these kids were like, yeah, we're going to kill him. I think they were like, yo, yo, what the fuck? We about to, yo, what, yo, what the fuck? Why y'all, who the fuck, what's up, y'all? And then the white boy got out the car. It was like, all right. And then he shot the, then he shot one of the Orbeez when he got out the car. Whether he shot it at the ground or shot it at them. And they attacked him. What did you think was going to happen? Sound like his father should have had to talk to him. Exactly. Yo, yo uh, if, if you're getting your head, to, if someone's stomping your head into the ground, they're trying to kill you, bro. No, that's well, not I, true. I've been, I've been stomped out twice. In my life, and I've talked about this on several occasions, man. No, nah, that's just that's just the natural thing when you fall. That's uh, listen, man. That's uh, I remember at Birdie Baggers. This was somebody got a lot of feedback, man. You guys, please. Um, 
it was um, in, in the early 90s, we had a thing where if you fell during a fight, because fights was the shit, but somehow it got to a point where, like, if a person was fighting, like, in a hallway or something, whoever fell, everybody would stomp that person out and just kick them and shit while they was on the ground. And it was just, I don't know how it evolved. I remember it evolved. It wasn't like that at first. It wasn't like that when I got to the school. But it just evolved like that way. And um, the, nobody was trying to kill anybody. Most fights where I've seen the Sun Men, and some with Sun Men, or groups of Sun Men, and somebody hits the ground, I can't remember too many times where the person who hit the ground didn't get kicked. Or stomped on. Yeah, I think that's a sun thing. I don't think other other it's people just, do that. So. Oh, okay. Well, I that's think they've seen enough videos to know, right? Haven't they? Haven't that shown you enough videos through the years? Like that's a yeah, you could be unconscious, and some people are gonna kick you. Yep. Like it's just, just natural. You just repeatedly stomp on your head. Like directly, yes, something, yes, yeah, some people, people do don't that. die from that, and, and people don't die, but people don't be dying from that shit all the time. I, mean, I guess sometimes people die, but if you but, if you if you get beat up by son, man, and you fall down, he's going to stop you. Yep, I, I'm saying though, like, I'm not, and I, I'm that I don't think we should justify that because it's not right. No, but I'm talking about intent, like the linear intent of like. They shot us with the Orbeez. We're gonna go over here and kill this white kid. No, I think you gotta you got to can you please um mute oh, yourself, yeah. man? Right. It's, 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 they shot us with the Orbeez. We ran off because we didn't know whether it was Orbeez or bullets. We realized it's not bullets. We come back, they're still there sitting in the parking lot. They haven't left. We go approach their car. Some white kid gets out with an Orbeez guns and starts shooting it. We kicked his ass and we whooped his, beat him good. And then we left. He fucking died. Who the fuck knew he was going to die? Yeah, Ak, that's definitely a something then, bro, because everyone else will see that as you're trying to kill the person, bro. Yeah. There's no justifying true. that shit, man. Like, I don't care what you try to spin it. It's the thing we did. No, you tried to kill that kid. That's how everyone else is going to see that. Just take the L and move on. Bro. No. No, listen. He died. It's a difference between you dying and me trying to kill you. I'm not saying they didn't kill him. I'm saying I don't necessarily think they were trying to kill him. No, no, no I, I hear you. I hear you. Yeah, they, they might have. They're just like, oh, let's kick kick his ass like real good and then just leave him, you know. But three he's on dead. one. Somebody but he's said dead. three on one. Three on one. His, he had three guys in the car with him. Why didn't they get out and help him? That's a good point. If we come over to a car of four guys, me and two of my buddies come over to a car full of four guys, one gets out and we start fighting them, and the other three stay in the car, that's not, like, what are you talking about? Those kids weren't in street three dudes, on one. They just shot us with some Orbeez. Orbeez. Yeah, they're probably Orbeez. just having fun. I don't think they were really. They don't there. know us. Hold on, are you so so so, so cookie? Yeah, you're saying that rolling up on a basketball court with a bunch of sons on it and shooting them with anything. I don't give a fuck if you shoot pillows. If you got a mini mm -hmm. pillow gun and you're shooting mini pillows at them. Are you not what are you thinking is gonna happen? Yeah. I I, I hear you. I hear you, bro. I'm saying the kids that did it, right? So the the, the white kid that was with his son friends, right? Because I'm I'm assuming his, he's got some friends in the car with him, right? They're not street dudes, bro. They're doing a dumbass prank, and I'm not no, saying. But I'm at not, the hold I'm on, not saying street, what they did. Once you shoot up, it doesn't matter if you're street. Hold on, I can't listen. Think about it. 
say the, uh, say, let's just say this, right? Mm. I can't fucking worry about whether you're a street dude or not. That doesn't mean you don't deserve to get your ass kicked. I don't. I'm not just only like. Oh, well, if you're a street guy, I'm not. Gonna, uh, you're not a street guy, so I'm not gonna kick your ass. I'm kicking if I'm a sub team and I'm with my boys, and some people roll up and start shooting this shit at me. These fucking things hurt too. Remember the videos I used to do on these when this was yeah, the fad. Yeah. These fucking things hurt. You can put a fucking eye out with these things, if especially if they're frozen. What the fuck? You rolled up on a black neighborhood at a basketball court, started shooting people with these shits, and didn't immediately leave. I, I, I'm not saying what the kid <laughs> did wasn't stupid. I think he's fucking dumb. I don't know why you rolled up to some basketball court shooting at some random sum man. He's at look. He's asking for it. I'm not saying what he did wasn't dumb. The only thing I'm trying to say is, is I just think it's dumb to the fact that. Yeah, I get it. They were just trying to kick his ass and whatever. Their intent probably wasn't to kill him. They were just probably trying to give him a bloody ass nose, maybe fuck up his ribs a bit. But no, I don't dead. even know what. Hold on, hold on. I don't even think it, it's even that's the mentality. I think it's just attack. It's just attack. They attacked him. I don't think they were thinking we're just gonna fuck his ribs up a little bit. I think they were thinking we're going to. Get him back for what he just did to us. And we're going to beat the shit out of him. I, I could understand and he that. Died. And those kids probably had a fight at school that week where they was beat the person worse than that or fight in the hood that month where they beat the person worse than that and the person didn't fucking die. This fucking kid died that's the only difference that's what i'm trying to get you guys to understand the only difference between this and any other fucking ass whooping these kids that administered is that this fucking kid died yeah we hear you i i think i think we're going at two different points because I'm, I'm just saying these guys should be fucking locked up forever regardless. Of this anybody, shit. hold I on, I got though. somebody in the back. Let me see something. Who's this in the back? I chronic. I chronic. Do you understand what I'm saying? Man, that's a free kill. That's a free <laughs> kill. They they know they know they can kill that uh, white boy. So you think that they, you think some men, as much as they use guns, you think some men were like, yo, we're going, to, oh, let's go beat this guy to death. You think they were trying to kill him, or you think they were trying to beat the shit out of him? That's part and parcel of beating uh, a wimp like that. And you said that there's other uh, guys on the car. Those Listen, man, I, too. So I guess I'm desensitized to violence as being a son, man. But I've seen so many fights, and nobody dies. I'm talking about. Boom, boom, bitch ass nigga, da, 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 Joe Pesci stomping motherfuckers, and nobody ever dies. I hear you, Ak. Hey, Ak, remember this: <laughs> the only the only kid that got killed or was actually beaten was this white kid, bro. He got out the car though. The car, yeah. The other kid stayed hey. in the fucking car. Yeah, they said the guy kicked the car, didn't... right? Yeah, you think them seven wasn't kicking that fucking car? Oh no, I bet. <laughs> I think he probably he tried to defuse it. He said, hey, hey, calm down, thinking they would just stop. Cause my thing is like this. It seemed like people are trying to act like I'm justifying his death. I'm not justifying his death. It's sad that during the ass kicking that he begged for, he died. I, I'm saddened that the ass whooping he begged for, he died. I wish he wouldn't have shot them. No, I, I wish he wouldn't have drove with his boys when his boys was like, yo, they're first of all, they're riding around with an Orbeez gun. Who knows who they shot before that? Who knows how many people they shot before they got to the basketball court? Just drive by and shooting people. We have to, we. Press one if you think this was the these were this was the first people they shot at this basketball court that night. 
Press one if you think these are the first people they shot at the basketball court. That day. I just want to. I just. I, I just need to know. I'll be the fifth. No one's saying it's not murder. No one's saying. Well, no. It. Listen, it's not murder because they. 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 <laughs> they charged. So they riding around shooting people. They're riding around a black neighborhood shooting random people with Orbeez. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes, man. Yeah, I think uh, I think people need to watch internet fights of some men. They'll hit you when you're unconscious. They don't, that's just what some people do. They don't care. And people don't die yeah. most of the time. So. Oh, not bro. I, I remember I showed like a video from Twitter where it was a dude that got knocked out. They're just running through his pockets, still kicking him while he's unconscious. I trust me, I seen it. <clears throat> so they probably thought that was going to happen again, but I guess it, it depends on how you interpret the law. I guess the bone density, yeah. <laughs> you don't got that. His, his bones aren't as dense, you can't handle that, shit, man. Maybe so. I just listen, man. Listen, man. I, I'm I, listen, man. I, I I get that people are upset with me right now, and whatever, man. But let me just show you what this shit looks like before we get back to this. And please take the five dollar challenge via PayPal, cash up with the super chat. Support the channel. We're the only ones bringing it to you like this. And if you got something to say. Come up. You don't have to stay long. Just come up to the panel, hit the link, link in the description box, and tell me, because I can't read every comment. Some people in the comments are saying it's murder. I don't think it's murder. Um, it could be manslaughter. It could be homicide, because they did not plan for for his death. So it's Yeah, not I would say manslaughter. Uh, also, Ak, I don't think what you said was wrong, man. I think we were just going at two different points, but... The the way you put it through, like yeah, I, I get it. You know, they're they're just trying to give him a good ass beating, but yeah, kid ended up Yo, dying do you regardless. Understand? Those son men would have beat that guy's ass for much less. Oh yeah, you know he didn't have to do that. Like like y'all making it seem like he couldn't have got his ass beat for a dirty look. But yeah. I'm in, in my opinion, TikTokers uh, deserve that. Deserve this. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Is Look there, at this shit. Look, this, this is what it looks like. And tell me that you wouldn't be pissed if this happened to you. Look at this guy. He's just in his car. And they come by and they shoot his ass. <laughs> Look, they just roll up on a fucking playground and just start shooting people. And look, look how quick they leave. They gone. E Ethan and his friends just sat there. Yo, Hawk, somebody in the comments made a good point. They said if the races were reversed, people would go crazy. That's true. Oh, definitely. I'm. I'm not, and I'm not saying that. Okay. Yeah. It, they, they would have had to charge them with murder. Yeah. They would have had to charge those kids it. with murder. Not they just murder, but hate crime. The, hate crime. Yeah, they wouldn't have been able to give the kid eighteen months time served, whatever the fuck it was. They wouldn't have been able to do that. They would have had to charge them with murder. But what I'm saying is, is I'm, I'm not talking about all of that. Now I'm talking about games escalated into uh, people becoming injured. A new social media trend, a TikTok challenge, has turned a toy into a weapon. Young people will take these splat ball guns and they'll fill uh, them with these Orbeez balls. It's called the Orbeez Challenge, and the Dearborn Police Department is investigating a number of cases. As of today, we're up to about 15. The challenge involves TikTok users recording themselves putting the Orbeez balls into a toy gun and then recording themselves as they shoot the balls randomly at people. We see injuries are when they put these in the freezer. They become hard, um, almost like metal BBs. 
and they shoot them at a, a high rate of speed and uh, they can actually break the skin. <laughs> One incident took place last Look week. At these white boys. Look at these white boys just ride through the. Look at and, this shit. Uh, they can actually break the skin. <laughs> One incident took place. This shit can break the skin. Hey, uh, and then you just gonna <laughs> sit there and, and you just gonna sit in your car and wait. And then when we come over, you gonna get out. What the fuck? <laughs> It's hey, last uh, week on St. Uh, Patrick's Day near Monroe and Outer Going with the summit, even even though yeah, they, they killed the kid. I don't think they that was their intent. I probably would have beat that kid's ass too, bro. Yeah. That shit would piss me off. Especially if they were frozen. Oh yeah. Just like it'd be it feels just like a BB. Salute the boy Gachina, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Salute the boy Gachina. He says China's TikTok working. As intended, but Darwin, <laughs> keep a fake wallet with forty dollars and old cards in it. Maybe an old phone for location revenge. Throw both. <sighs> Some said, "Was I thought these toy guns were the solution?" Right. I, I mean, just look at look at this part. Right. Watch this. <laughs> One incident took place last week on St. Patrick's Day near Monroe and Outer Drive. Take a close look at the video because police need the public's help to identify the suspect. But suspects in other cases have been caught. We have uh, three individuals right now facing charges. One of them uh, is an adult, 18 years old, and they're looking at assault charges. That 18-year-old is also a high school senior and is now waiting to be arraigned in court. We quickly determined that that vehicle was driven by uh, a high school student at one of our local high schools. Uh, our school resource officer identified the individual responsible. And uh, upon locating the vehicle in the parking lot, um, this gun was actually still sitting on the front passenger seat. Uh, so that individual is currently facing assault charges. Another recent incident took place at Ford Field Park. A, a young mother walking with her uh, young child in the park and her child in the stroller what if that's your fucking baby mother? Yeah, I don't I blame mean, him. I would have beat his ass too. Crazy. What's up, soul? What's up, stop resisting? What is, am I? Am, am I crazy? Like, because everybody's mad at me. It seems in the chat. We in a lot of. Nah, you're man. right. You're right. That's assault, man. Like, what the fuck? He got out of the car and shot him again. What the fuck? Now, if you can prove they intentionally tried to kill him, that's different. But, you know, you can die from one punch on the face, man. You know, they'll kill you. So, you know, honestly, not even some man, too. Like, you, anyone just sucker punching you, like, real hard. Not even sucker punch. Just, like, punch you straight directly in the face could kill you. Anyway. Yeah, but a bunch of sun men oh, beating yeah. your ass and stomping your fucking head in. Yes, that can kill you. But I've seen it happen since elementary school. Like it all the way up through like my adult life, and I can't remember seeing anybody die. I know people have died, but I like I never heard of anybody. I never see most of the people I know that I got shot or stabbed. You know what I'm saying? But I guess sometimes. But you gotta understand too. Like I guess y'all are don't say how often, how common it is to to get the shit kicked out of you in Blackistan, which makes it fucking strange that these kids are doing this shit and they didn't leave the scene. Salute to Christy Webster, Op Nation Hall of Famer, Mount Rushmore, Michael Babe Ruth Jordan in the building, the GOAT. He says, they took the keys and phone where he couldn't get help. That crossed the line for me. Okay. Now, here's my thing about that, Christy. In Blackistan, when somebody getting on the phone to make a phone call, they usually not calling the police. They calling some sun words to come up there and shoot your ass. They calling their peoples, their cousins in them. So taking somebody's phone so they can't start calling people may not have been for the reason of not having them call the police. That's a cultural difference. A lot of sons, man, man, hold on, man, I'm about to call my, they not calling the police. They call some, listen, 
the average son sister can make a phone call and a murder squad will come through and murder you in fucking 10 minutes. The average son sister. I'm not talking about a dude with a crew hanging out on the block every day with his homies, putting in work. I'm talking about a girl in Pakistan can make a phone call and a death squad will come through and spray bullets at you within 10 minutes. Press one. I think it should be at least second degree murder. Whatever it is, I'm not even talking about the charges. See, that's the thing. I don't even, whatever they got charged with is what they got charged with. I'm just saying, yo, this ain't, oh, some white kid just got victimized by some black kids and this is fucked up. This is a white kid went into the depths of the darkest Akron, the depths of the fucking jungle and like slapped the fucking chimpanzee or some shit. <laughs> like what the fuck? And regardless, Akron's not known as a good place. So what the fuck are you doing over there pranking people? Come on now. And he's a star athlete and a straight A student. Salute the Prince of Cats. He says, if you shoot me or my kids, <laughs> my shoot, I'm shooting back with my 45 Glock. Sorry, that's scary. Yeah. Uh was struck. I, I don't uh, I don't as, think as she went, was as well. I don't think they went back there to uh, literally kill him. It's not like they're like like a um a mentality of a drive by shooting where they're gonna shoot up the block and don't care. But I just think they went back there to teach him a lesson, like, hey, you know, you did that shit. Now we're gonna beat your ass and he, and in the in the midst of the ass beating. I Not think killed. they went back to beat whoever's ass was there, and he got out. So if the one of those other black kids would have got out the car, you think they wouldn't have got their asses kicked too? Yep. <laughs> you think this is? You think that? Oh, so now all of a sudden, black people is nice to each other. It's very shocking. I didn't know anything about it. I run here basically every day. I usually think this park is very safe. So now it's very uh, scary. As Dearborn police continue to investigate these cases, the chief wants people to know this type of behavior will not be tolerated. Yeah, man, that's all I'm all I'm doing is showing you is that that's what it looks like, man. They roll through and it's like, yo, OK, if you roll through and then you gone, fine. But wait a second. They sitting right there in the car. Let's go over there. And then the white boy get out with the gun. Oh, shit. Like, I mean, like, what do you expect to happen? Come on. It's like everybody now, it's like, now what y'all going to start doing? Telling something to leave? And then being surprised when he come back and shoots you now? Now, six minutes after eight o'clock this morning and, and a neighborhood crime alert that we're following, police in Fernandina Beach and across the country are warning about a dangerous social media trend. It's called the Orbeez Challenge. It encourages kids to shoot strangers and each other with gel beads. News for Jackson reporter Aaron Farrar is joining us now live. And Aaron, in some cases, teenagers are targeting... Christy, how could they know what that white boy had when he rolled up with three black dudes shooting Orbeez guns at them? The white kid just rolled up with three black guys shooting Orbeez at them. They didn't leave. And then when the sun words approached the car, the white boy hopped out like, what? Am I missing something here? In people in drive-bys. And those drive-bys are happening not only in Fernandina Beach and near the Jacksonville area, but also just across the country, as you just mentioned. They're shooting people with these kind of beads. These are those water beads, and these are how small they are, at least to start. You can see that they're very similar in size and shape of some of those airsoft 
BBs. And of course, they're not meant to be harmful, but they're not also meant to be used in trying to shoot people with some of these uh, guns that they're using as well. I want to show you also what these can develop into, the size they can. This is just from about an hour and a half of being in some water. The one thing that kids are doing is they're modifying the sizes of these beads. You see the differences right now so that it would hurt that much more when they shoot people with them. Fernandina Beach police say there were two incidents in downtown. These were the guns typically used in those pranks. They say no one was hurt, but all of the people involved were identified and released to their parents. Here's what happened to a kid yesterday in Peachtree City in Georgia. The Damn. What if that's your kid? The police you department know, I, said this boy was shot with those. I was going to say, I, I, I kind of think those kids, the rest of those kids kind of got lucky because uh, those sun men could have think those were real. They had every right to think those could have been real guns at some point, and they could have shot back with real back guns. In. Those sun men weren't, if those sun men had a gun on them, they would have killed those yeah. guns. Yeah. Yeah, and they would have been justified. It would have been justified, I think. Those water beads by a group of teenagers. You can see the bruises on his face and on his arm. Although these beads are not meant to be harmful, if they hit someone, they can cause serious injuries. Officers are also saying with these beads being shot, the kids or the teenagers, whomever is responsible, they can be considered using assault with a deadly weapon in those cases. Officers are also warning. So you can be charged with assault with a deadly weapon for shooting this at people. People of this, the severity and the seriousness of these kind of situations. They're also warning people about the kind of guns they're using in these pranks because they say that they can be mistaken for real guns and that can also lead to more serious shootings. To or ass beating. Oh, fucking brutal ass ass beaten. Let's get back to this though. This is this 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 case. I mean, listen, man. Let's get back to this 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 kid, man. Feels like he is being victimized by the justice system. I naively believe that you know once the people that murdered my son were caught, that the justice system would just simply handle things. Um, we've said all along that we were confident when, when the facts of the case were presented that Ethan would receive justice. But the grieving father feels that hasn't happened. The people who have the power to stand up for my son are not doing it. And so it's up to me um, as a father to speak for my son who cannot speak for himself. 17-year-old Ethan Liming and three friends drove to the I Promise school parking lot in Akron. Liming told me his son and another friend sat in the car while the two others got out. Police say that's when a water bead was fired from a toy gun. It came from a splatter ball water bead blaster aimed at a group of young men playing basketball. It was part of a TikTok challenge. Liming says Ethan's friends ran back to the car. The group of men initially ran away too. When they figured out that the car, they were not being shot by a real gun, decided to go and confront um, Ethan and uh, every, all of his friends who were in that car. According to court transcripts, Ethan stepped out of the car. He was confronted by the three, and that's when he fired a splatterball water bead. That led to the fight that killed him. Liming says his son was punched, kicked, stepped on, and beaten. One of Ethan's friends called 911. We're at uh, the I Promise School in Akron, Ohio. Okay. Our friend just got knocked out. According to court transcripts, one of the three, Donovan Jones, was kicking the car, trying to get in. And when he does, starts punching the other friends, trying to drag them from the car, while one is on the phone with nine. They were trying to drag the sun teens out of the car. I knew they was doing that. I knew they was doing that. Sun teens weren't stupid. They stayed in the car. <laughs> they, fought, they fought to stay inside the car. Because Ethan's dumbass got out with the keys. Now they all stuck there. You know for a fact that sun teen? They kind of, he kind of yes, did you hear that voice? Did you, you know, hear that voice? Like, that's the Santin. 
Yeah, that's it was a son. That's a son. That's a son, man. So what? They even fuck rap. We're at uh, the I Promise School in Akron, Ohio. Okay. Our friend just got knocked out. According to court transcripts, one of the three, but Donovan Ak- Jones, was kicking the car, trying to get in. And when he does, starts punching the other friends, trying to drag them from the car, while one is on the phone with 911. How old is he? Prosecutors say video surveillance captures them running from Jones. Police originally charged Deshaun Stafford, his brother Tyler, and their cousin, Donovan Jones with murder, but in July, a grand jury indicted them on lesser charges. Lyman blames the Summit County Prosecutor's Office for that decision. He doesn't believe all of the facts were presented. Akron police said back in June, race was not a factor in the killing. There is nothing that we have in our possession right now, any information at all, indicating that race played a role in this. What I'm saying is the bigger picture of uh, all of this is the the Chinese Communist Party application TikTok uh, real purpose is working because uh, people in the United States are doing their uh, dealings for them. They don't need to put their soldiers in. Um, your teens, uh, your people in the United States will, will kill, kill each other for stupid pr- uh, pranks. So it's working. Yeah, but... This is the only kid that died from this shit. Like all other stories that showed you, no, no one got their ass beaten. Died. He's the only kid who died. And he's a star athlete. Like, but this if there's no TikTok, act, he will not do that. No, I, I got that. I don't let that rap all about all that shit. But I just want to keep it on this situation. Yes, TikTok and all that shit, China and all that shit. But this right here. This kid, he just died. And yes, there should be consequences for that. I'm not saying that the kid should fucking get off. But to say that he got his, he, they did this to him because he was white. They did that to him because they were fucking playing basketball. And some guys rolled up and sat with me. That's what I think. Press one. I don't think they singled him out because he was a glider. I mean, if you guys are saying that the, his friends or son in the car, so they were trying to beat their ass too. So, yeah, like it's not like they went like had had he not done this, he would be a sophomore at fucking. Um, LSU or fucking Auburn playing baseball and fucking living his best life, fucking a cheerleader. But he decided to go in the fucking Akron with some dumbass black kids and shoot random people with Orbeez. Your Ak, you think it was Sun Influence? I mean, he is his car, though. That's the thing. He's oh, driving. Okay. So he has more influence than anybody because he's the driver. So you can't say that necessarily that he wasn't with it. I'm That's sure true. it wasn't his fucking idea. But what I'm saying is if you're driving, you can't just be like, I was just stuck in the back seat and I couldn't. Have... No, yeah. you're driving. Yep. When they is got he a out, glider, act, or is he half? For them. Yes, this is a fucking glider, man. Okay. I just, I just, I, I just don't understand. I mean, all you people have watched all these videos here on this channel, and it's like, it's like almost as if like this is the first time you've been here, yo. You can die for less. Black is dead. Let alone this shit. Keep fucking crazy. Summit County Prosecutor's Office for that decision. He doesn't believe all of the facts were presented. Akron police said back in June, race was not a factor in the killing. There is nothing that we have in our possession right now, any information 
at all indicating that race played a role in this homicide. Nothing. But Liming isn't so sure. I would like to believe that race doesn't play a role in this. Um, I'm married to a, a, a Filipino woman. Um, she's got black cousins. Um, when we get together for our extended family gatherings, for birthdays, for graduation parties. That's the Filipino woman. That Filipino woman is not that boy's mother. For holidays, and we're a beautiful picture of what we hope to be as a society. But when I asked Brian LaPrinzi in the initial prosecutor's meeting that I had with him, I asked him if race made a difference, if, if my son's skin color made a difference in the way in which they're approaching it. He said yes. The Summit County Prosecutor's Office told us in a statement in part, quote, Mr. Liming's accusations are not true. We met with the Liming family and their attorney and explained the facts and evidence which we were legally permitted to tell them about. At no time did the race of any of those involved play a factor in the charges. Last month, Jones entered a no-contest plea to misdemeanor assault charges. He was given a suspended sentence of 180 days in jail and credited with time served. Liming is upset, angry, and frustrated. A source who was at the initial prosecutor's meeting between the detectives and the prosecutors described that prosecutor's meeting as being very contentious. Um, some of the prosecutors wanting felonious assault charges and murder charges, others basically wanting no charges at all, with one of the prosecutors um, saying that Ethan received hood justice, which was a new term to me. I was unfamiliar with that terminology, hood justice, um, and that, I guess implying that Ethan got what he deserved. The prosecutor's office says that's not true. Since June 2nd, Liming says his family has been living a nightmare. They've been harassed and received hateful emails. We've received emails um, celebrating the fact that my son's head was crushed like a watermelon and laughing about how his chest was stomped in. Um, I've been called a white moron. Liming is calling for the Summit County Prosecutor's Office to take another look at the charges or step aside and let the Ohio Attorney General step in. In the meantime, Liming has called the FBI and asked them to investigate to find out if there is a civil rights violation. Tracy Carlos, News 5. You can read the entire statement from the prosecutor's office in this story. On it looked like he was crying during the break, don't he? <laughs> he was crying. Yeah. <laughs> <Shit. Yeah. laughs> well, like His <laughs> damn son words. Always get on the right. If I had a son, he would look like Ethan Levy. <laughs> hey, what that uh, what that glider man said was kind of annoying when he was like describing his family and he was like, We are what we hope to be with society. He will wants be. to be the utopia, yes. He he wants to yeah, it's like, what if what if a white guy said about, about his white family? Right. Right. And 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 you know that Filipino chicks got him eating fucking trash covered in sweet and sour stuff every day. And, and he talking about he bragging about that shit. That ain't nothing to brag about. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, have you selected a four person? Okay, jury number ten. The court has been informed that you have been unable to reach a verdict on one count of the indictment. It is customary for the court to inquire if there is a possible. So the judge was a glider queen. So, was, it, 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 you know, so, yeah, that, that helps the son. <laughs> that yes. helps the son. <laughs> yep. hey, look at the hairstyle. You already know what yeah. that person is. Yeah. Salute the, the freshman. He says, Ethan was a fool. It was manslaughter, but he was the author of his design. Yeah, I'm fine with whatever they give the kids. I don't even, I'm not even talking about whatever the kid, the punishment they give the kids. If they charge him with murder, fine. I don't give a fuck. What I'm saying is, yo, he, he got that because of his actions. It wasn't no because of his skin color. That happened to him because of his actions. And I don't think that those kids were trying to kill him any more than they're trying to kill anybody that they're fighting. Yep, I agree. Possibility of reaching an agreement within a reasonable time. Therefore, juror number 10, the court is going to submit this question to you with the instruction that the answer be either yes or no. 
Do not disclose any other information or indicate the status of your deliberations. Is there a possibility that after an additional period of time today, you may reach an agreement as to that one count? As to the other counts, have you deliberated and reached a verdict? Okay. If you would please give the verdict forms to my bailiff. Tyler Stafford, guilty of the offense of assault. It is dated September the 22nd. He found guilty of assault. Wow. They found him guilty of assault. So <laughs> listen, man. She, oh, they spoke. Look, the people spoke, man. Don't get mad at me, man. The people of Akron spoke. They said that was an assault. I want to give a manslaughter, but so I guess yeah. it is. And, 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 and that's whatever. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I can't um, adjudicate. I can't, you know, lose sleep over every single fucking ruling in every fucking court, man. I do too many stories. All I'm saying yeah. is that, yo, this fucking kid, yo, had he not, yo, he, yo, what the fuck was he thinking no idea i'm fucking believable man um and it's hard to feel bad for him it's just like y'all can't even feel sorry for the kid on college campus at depaul they're getting robbed by sun men and they voted for those democratic policies you ain't got no sympathy for them college students just <laughs> walking to class, stupid, dumb college kids that are fucking super liberal and fucking vote for Democrats every time. But you feel sorry for this kid who literally, like, literally went up to a fucking lion in a cage and stuck his fucking head in the fucking cage and left it there. In Akron, the trial is over and a jury has reached a verdict in the case against two brothers accused of killing Ethan Lyman near the I Promise School last summer. Our Bree Buckley has the breakdown and joins us live. Bree, some people were surprised by this outcome. Yeah, Betsy, with the Stafford brothers avoiding the more serious charges, Ethan's family says it feels like their son was murdered again, while the Stafford family says they're praying for peace, thankful for the lesser charges. I will accept the verdict of the jury. The verdict is in for brothers Deshaun and Tyler Stafford. To summarize, we have guilty verdicts against Deshaun Stafford for aggravated assault and assault, and a guilty verdict against Tyler Stafford for assault. A jury finding both guilty of assault and not. Look at your jurors. Look at your jurors. Tell me if you see a sun word. <laughs> Press one if you see a son man in his jury. A jury finding both guilty of assault. Tell me, yeah. press one if you see a son man or son woman in any of these jurors. They won't Those show their all face in the mirror. But if they a jury charge... finding both guilty of assault and not guilty of involuntary manslaughter. And... That might if they charge man. him or them more than um the assault charge they will be doxxed and uh tagged as racist so that's what they did these are gladys assault, and listen yes. man these are all gladys they are these, a jury of gladders shiny sunman a, jur a judge the glider judge and the glory of gladys so don't get mad at me man the jury of gladders and the white and the glider clean judge and those sons walking out of that courtroom with time served. Um, listen, man, this kid right here, he had a bright future, man. And um, it, it's sad know. that he threw it all away, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you don't know. The decisions, yeah, the decisions he was making, yeah, definitely. Like, he had definitely turned. He had definitely veered off his path. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, yeah, he wasn't, he wasn't, um, you know what I'm saying? He was, but still, like, that being said, I know 
a bunch of people have done way, way more worse. I know people have done a hundred times more than this kid has done in their life. But I feel, I feel bad. You, you never thought something bad uh, like this would happen to you, right? Because uh, that's when you're peaking. Uh, what I mean is peaking. Now, I, think I would have rolled up in a black neighborhood in Washington, D.C. when what this would be. Maybe, I, they, used it. 90s, Maybe they used to it. Maybe they used to it. Maybe they used to it. Used to be dealing with sun scenes also. I would have, I would have, I would have definitely, definitely, we would have hightailed it out of there. No way we would have stayed around with no gun, with no firearm. Just the Orbeez gun, and we're shooting random people in black neighborhoods. They let's just say I'm stupid enough. <laughs> let's just say I'm stupid enough to do that. Man, we would have made sure we had a full tank of gas. We would have took the fucking car to the shop and got a tune up and made sure ain't wasn't nothing wrong with the car before we did that shit. <laughs> Fuck that. Make sure the tires are fucking full. The fuck are you cranking me? I mean, last June, outside of the I Promise School in Akron. Deshaun Stafford taken into custody right after. He faces up to two and a half years in prison Tyler Stafford faces up to six months. I don't feel they should have got the master. Two years, half years, and six months. And they've probably been in jail since this happened. So we're talking about, what, 18 months? So they probably... He, about to get out. He, yeah. They, the other kid's probably going to get straight out. The six-month kid. And this kid probably will have, like, maybe, Four more like... Months. <laughs> Yeah, some shit like that. I, I mean, let's see what the dad got to say. Half years in prison, Tyler Stafford faces up to six months. I don't feel they should have got the mass load. I, I'm happy that they got what they got because it gave them a chance to come back home. You know what I'm saying? Not be gone forever. They've been victimized by these individuals at night, brutally victimized. And now they're victimized again by the system. The jury did not reach a verdict for Deshaun Stafford's additional involuntary manslaughter charge, declaring a mistrial. What that tells me is that the jury was unable to have confidence that they knew beyond a reasonable doubt what actually did or who actually did cause the death of Ethan Lyming. Cleveland criminal defense attorney Tara Coleman followed the trial closely. She says there were some inconsistencies in evidence, with eyewitnesses changing their statements on what happened that night. She says the recently enacted Stand Your Ground law also played a factor, where a person no longer has to retreat before using deadly force in self-defense. Sons benefited from the Stand Your Ground law. <laughs> Now she now that lady sees everything so objectively clear and everything. Yeah, it's okay now. The sons are benefiting from Sandy Sand Your Ground, but but that's who benefited from Sandy Your Ground all the whole time. Who's discharging firearms in public? Who's beating the shit out of people? It's sons. So sons have always been the beneficiaries. The only difference here is that this municipality didn't have Stand Your Ground until recently so this is this is a new thing for this this municipality here so played a factor where a person no longer enacted stand your ground law also played a factor where a person no longer has to retreat before using deadly force in self-defense this was a, a very interesting and intriguing trial to watch from start to finish and i think it's so important to to have transparency. no they said that you can be charged with assault with a deadly weapon for shooting those orbies at people you can be charged with assault with a deadly weapon for shooting those orbies at people so you gotta understand those things yo those things can break the skin yes and, and the thugs, like, yes it looks like uh they hurt <laughs> if it will uh penetrate your skin that's so painful. Yeah, they're coming out a hundred at a time. Like, <laughs> I mean, and they, and they can break your skin. Like, come on. I mean, how do you know somebody ain't going to die from that? All y'all have been blinded. fucking. If you can get, if you, if, yeah. you, if you hit in the eye, you get blinded. Yeah. 
transparency <laughs> into this process so we can see how this works. So we can see what the burden of beyond a reasonable doubt means when the prosecution charges someone with something. Now, sentencing is set for October 26th at 1.30 p.m. Uh, That's for if or when it the could prosecution be a deadly weapon if, uh, if you have a heart attack and someone